Hello everybody, welcome back to another Grand Arena. Uh, my opponent today is about 10.5 million, so I am not going to call whale or anything. I have no idea if this guy's a whale or what he does. I think he's probably not. It's probably a pretty reasonable uh, place to get to after playing a long time. Though I don't know how long he's been playing. Uh, as far as my rank, I'm at rank 171, which is the highest I've ever been, so I'm a little nervous about it. Uh, if I win a couple or two or three of this round, I... Even be within the top 100, and that is, I don't know, it's too high. <laughs> I don't want to be that high. Um, but he it attacked first, and it went pretty well for me. He dropped a battle against Darth Revan. He dropped some battles up top to Sorty, surprisingly, and Qui Gon. So that is great. And then in the back is where I put my two Zeta Java. He didn't have a problem there, but he did drop a battle against Maul. So that is pretty good in my estimation. Um, as far as what he set, he put Java up top, pretty standard. Uh, Gas, Maul. Uh, Maul team looks kind of scary, and he's got that great Candra's Datacron, so uh, keep an eye out for that. Radis, no Datacron. Uh, first Order team. Not really scared of that one. <laughs> and he's got uh, he's got Ray down here, so use Lord Vader on that. Darth Revan, Malgus with Sith Assassin. So uh, I'm actually gonna try out Jedi Knight Luke on this and see how that works. Um, got a lot of defense. Um, but yeah, it interesting comp. Uh, Dash with. You know, I'm not really scared of that, and then Savage, so... Uh, we're gonna go through the bottom wall first. Uh, starting with Ray, probably. So, I'm actually gonna use Kylo Ren and Mask with Lord Vader, and that's because there's a clause in Lord Vader's kit about starting with an unaligned Forced user. Um, if a Dark Side... Oh, this thing is... If a dark side unaligned force user ally was present at the start of the battle, for the rest of the battle, all Empire dark side unaligned force user allies take 30% reduced damage from enemy light side unaligned force user attacks. So that's his whole team. Uh, Ray, Ben, and JTR are light side unaligned force users. Um, so this is the protection update of and It's also got to add a bonus of damage humidity on um, Kylo Ren and Mast. So... Uh, we'll see how that goes on him. But I've had plenty of luck against this before, even not using uh, Kylo Ren on Mast and just using, what is it, uh, Thrawn. But a Thrawn just dies pretty fast and it's not, not a big thing. Um, so this might allow me to stay alive longer. I'm going to stun Ben because Ray can kind of just shrug that off a lot. Going at her. Okay, she did the whirlwind. Uh, Royal Guard still alive. He took another one, and I still have one guy standing. He'll probably die to the ultimate, but not sure. <laughs> I got 45 stacks of protection up. Let me save that. He survived, and he's got damage immunity, which is cool. And he ate a whirlwind because of that damage immunity. Stun Ben again. Getting to the point where I can use ultimate more often. And him getting hit helps me charge ultimate. Well, Ben's like really dying. Yeah, I probably didn't want to do that. Yeah, not, not even like a scratch from that. Let's get into it. Start going at JTR. Get everyone. Get JTR out of the way. Nice. 
Yeah, this whirlwinds are doing absolutely nothing to me right this like this. And I'm saving that special until I drop ultimate. Okay, I dropped ultimate, so now I can charge back up to it. And that tickled me. Now I gotta work on Ray, get her under half health. She might drop below that herself. No, I ability blocked her, so that's actually my fault. Because I want to kill Ben while I have Ashes of the Republic active. Dang it, I'm gonna have to wait till next time, possibly, probably. Yeah. Because uh, that prevents the revives, otherwise he's just going to keep coming back over and over. Okay, I'm facing the clock here. it. Yeah, I need my ultimate. Okay, nice. Got him. I'm just gonna basic her. Okay, got it. A little close on time there, 61. I, if I just drop, if clear without dropping battles, then I win, obviously. Uh, because he dropped 20. Uh, so next I want to try is Malgus. And mm -hmm. against this comp, I think that Luke actually has favorable results. Not a high sample size, but it did work, and cause he, it's because he does a ton of damage. So I'm going to sort by... I'm either looking for crit damage or straight up damage. So I think this one should work pretty well. I'll get some crit damage, extra potency for old Ben, protection health, health steal. And the idea is... Uh, Jedi Knight Luke is immune to fear, and Hermit Yoda can stealth himself, so they can stay mostly protected, and he gets some um, extra Terminator from old Ben there. Stun the sides. Uh, I want to go after Talon first. Attacks, it's very durable. Dispels the buffs. Just want to get Talon. That was no good. That was a well-timed uh, ability block on Hodux. Couldn't get under stealth. I want to 
gonna get my buff up. He's gonna come back after I revive him. Okay, that's not good. Come on, hell steal. This, this was my fault. Okay, I got that. Might have a chance. That was my fault. Okay, so don't rely on two instances in this WGUH.GG. Okay, well, I'll come back to that. For gas, I want. More Jedi. Jedi Knight Revan, Yoda, and Bastila. Um, what do I want on them? Mm. I think no Datacron will actually be fine here. They don't have too much of a data card on them, so just go after Vandor first, and then dash. I can get Vandor because of the mark. Get everything spread out. I'm gonna go after Dash. Yeah, easy peasy. I think if Hoda stay alive in that, I could have won. But that just ability block was perfectly timed, and I couldn't hide him under stealth again. As long as I keep dodging his attacks, I can get full banners here. Her attacks, I don't know. Offense up. That should be it. Okay. Right, Savage. Trying bad batch. Bad batch. For Datacron. I don't know, like these I gotta save them for their well Hank Revive. This one isn't. Uh, this has a lot of defense. I might want the defense. Because I don't need these for dark side characters. Yeah, I'll use this for them. Uh. <laughs> Savage will come back once, so that is. not favorable. We'll take out Sith Trooper first. Got him with the expose. Pull that off. Uh, 
Did I? I didn't kill him, did it? The first time? I don't think so. Okay, maybe I did kill him the first time. So he died. That was pretty smooth. Okay. Now, Darth Revan. We use Jedi Master Luke, Jolie, and Shakti. I think I want a data card on them. Well, maybe I'm saving too many data cards. I, I'm gonna have more than I can use. Uh, so about protection. I'm gonna save that for JMK. Or do I want to use? Hmm, is that for JMK? Uh, hate belaboring over these. I think just this one. No, that's for Fennec. If I need that. Nah, I, I need to use one. Let's see how protection armor. Armor doesn't help. Uh, I just won't use one. They don't have the the turn meter one. So yeah. Oh. Oh yeah, he like stacked her with. Uh, health. I actually checked. And this doesn't do much. Revives tank allies. Basic should do it. Uh, yeah, shouldn't crit there. Want to increase his cooldowns. AoE Darth Revan to death eventually. And that does like nothing there. Yeah. Increase his cooldowns. Nice. Uh, I want him taunting. And now it's off again. I keep going Jolie because Jolie has a low um, crit chance. So, and I don't want him to crit Malak. He did crit there, but... Okay, there we go. Yeah, I didn't need the data cron. 56. Now we gotta decide what to use on Malik or Malgus, probably like bounty hunters or something. I wanted to use them up top, but they're not completely necessary. But I'll, I'll figure it out. Yeah, so I'm going with Boss Mando, both at sign of Django, because he's the weakest guy left. Uh, he's the only guy left. Uh, I thought about Dengar, but I want the mass assist. Boba Fett does extra attacks on his basic twice there. Um. So should be able to get the ultimate. I got this data cron. I got some armor. Uh, I I want the revive prevention. I uh, like Padme can work, but you want Mace there. Oh, he dodged. Okay. Uh, but I just want to get the the hit off. I got retribution. Maybe that'll help. 
Boss can take a hit from... One more, and that should be enough to, uh, yeah. Prevent the revive, okay. One of them up top for Radis, but I, I can get other things for Radis. So what's in the back? Okay, no Galactic Legends, it appears. Okay. Uh, so this does not look too scary. I think I can use Iden here. Uh, I'm sure I got some for that. Uh, yeah, let me just figure out what I'm going to do here and be right back. Okay, so I think I know what I'm going for here. To start, I'm going Jabba, of course. I need to change my loadout for that. But Mace is going in. And sort by... Oh, I got this one that's like... Oh, I completely forgot I have Kylo Ren. During my whole planning session, I was like, Oh, what do I do here? What do I have Kylo Ren. Uh, too so um okay yeah I got a lot so yeah let's do it use Kylo Ren against <laughs> Slicker against uh, Malgus I was worried about like Jam K in the back or something I'll do this on you Like, did he dispel that? Is it on myself to charge ultimates? Cause can't call cysts. He is just tossing. She's just tossing bombs left and right. She is almost gone. I want the ultimate, I want the bluff gone. Lots of annoying things. But you, because you have the thing. Okay, you're gone. Ultimate coming up. You're kind of helpless without her. Okay, I should definitely just go for Kersantin first. The spell. Relic 7, no. Omicron. Seems like it's like decent. Not a thermal to be seen. Uh, I'll switch with her. Maybe she got the jump. Yep. But not quite enough. <laughs> He only has like one move that does damage. Okay. Uh, nothing to it. This is the one I'm worried about. Maybe that's the one I should use Supreme Lair Kylo on. Uh, Sith Eternal. But I, I wanted to try Treya there. So this will be a Sith Eternal solo. I'm going to use this Health Steal Evasion up, Health up. Link you and Link fives. Uh, in a territory war, one of my guildmates uh, used like gas against the Sith Eternal, and he was surprised that he was able to win. Uh, but it's because it was a cleanup, and when he went in, Sith Eternal had 
uh, the link on cooldown, so he couldn't link gas, so gas was able to do his thing. Uh, but as long as you start out with a link, this is pretty much a done deal. There's instances where sometimes gas doesn't... Uh, he like... He goes into cover before losing all his protection, then he can come back up. I don't know when that actually happens precisely mechanic wise but it does happen sometimes and this you just don't want to go ultimate because you want to keep your healing ability you just did length to gain some extra protection okay so not gonna get full banners here, probably. Yeah. That's fine. As long as I clear the rest without dropping battles, that's fine. Okay, so I wanna try Wampa here. And. Okay, yeah, Wampa should be fine. I'm gonna use a protection up. Data Crown, unless I wait. I hope I didn't waste it, because. Okay, yeah, I got this. They're still gaining their dots, even though he's stunned. Now he's getting the counterattacks and generating turn meter. So, yeah, this one is pretty easy. And original Kylo's not gonna die from the dots, but there's Will. So I do need a ramp up for Kylo. So they're getting their damage immunity. I don't care. Got so much protection up. Got healing immunity on him. Yeah, pretty simple. <laughs> okay, Brass, I'm gonna use Star Killer. I'm just gonna go ahead and use the turn meter one. Get some offense. Or, no, I have seven battles left. Damn here. Oh, thanks. Mm. Oh, yeah, I'll just do that. Oh, okay. His turn meter down. Stun people. I'm gonna stun her. Did she mean to stun or something? I forget. Reduce her turn meter. And I'm getting the charge. Yeah, it's easy. Overkill as long as you do it right. Uh, this, I want to use Trio for. Although this mall, data, uh, this Candra's Datacron, looks pretty intense. Uh, so, what the... I 
I don't think I need this scoundrel ally thing. He's 20% turn here, defense. He has some defense, but... Maybe, maybe I want this over giving it to Supreme Lair Kylo. For everyone left, he's not going to need it. So I'll take the extra health and armor here. So what does Treya's health looking like? 129,000, not too shabby. Let's go. So Kandorus is going to go first, uses AoE. I think it should be an AoE Ar Oh no, he's not going to go first. They have the... Yeah, AoE Armor Shred, that's what I thought. Anders is gonna like kill himself. I don't think they should be. Okay, yeah, okay, they didn't kill me. Jeez. What is the Annihilate on Maul? Is he... Oh, is Maul the weakest? Okay, 114,000. Nice. What's he got for ships? I set my scythe on defense, because even though it's working against these top fleets, it gets low banners. Okay, so only Executor. So use Profundity there. The executor here and mirror match. Okay, I think that sounds like a good plan. Back here. Mm -hmm. I'm using CLS on Iden. I mean Iden on CLS. This is the comp. So I think I just want that's armor good, good damage, okay. This is what I'm going with. Let's do it, he's got relic eight. So, I don't know. Maybe that's risky. Stun him to start. Not much in Datacron land. I'm gonna save that for the Blind. Die. This is why I save that. I have finally learned to save it. <laughs> Didn't get through the protection up. That's good. Clear those buffs. And get the kill. Soon enough. Nice. Okay. So this one use Darth Vader. Ah, it's gonna take too long to scroll. I'm just gonna type in Empire. Darth Vader, Thrawn, and Moth. Weakest ally, so the ones I want weakest ally. Okay, I think this is fine. The rest. Don't think I need that. Turn meter up. I need turn meter up for Imperial Troopers, but that's it. Okay, so I think this will be Moff Gideon going first. After they've gained a little bit of turn meter. Oh no, it's Thrawn. So I'm gonna fracture him. Gained his bonus turn, but I killed him. 
before he can make use of it. Okay, she's stunned. I'll kill her. Just want him to heal up. Yeah. Dang it. I don't want that AoE. But they look mostly topped off. Does he have his thing? No, he doesn't. They alive? Ah. Okay, we'll drop the banner, but it's not a big deal. Okay, I think Kylo's gonna go there. The Imperial Troopers this. Scroll all the way down. Once I lost a match in threes a long time ago because I used Piet lead because I was paying only half attention. So that was painful. <laughs> okay. It turned my own turn meter. Kyle Katarn's getting his extra turn meter, but I get mine. And if someone goes down to Dark Trooper, they're not coming back with the one I equipped, so that's nice. Especially against this team, because revives are in play. Just do the basic one, the assists. Okay, really easy. Okay, Boba Fett and Qui-Gon Shin, so... Might try first order here, and I'll just be safe for for um, Spring Lunar Kylo to wreck. Fuck on Jin. Uh, yeah, that's a good chance. Oh, a tank. Yeah, okay, I'll take the. Okay, let's see if this works. I can honestly probably drop the battle and be fine, but I don't want to do that. Azam's gone. I want Boba next. And he doesn't have any potency on this, which is a bit of a mistake. go 56 I love that team I love using it in threes and then just solo spin there Kylo I really thought he'd have some galactic legends on the back considering how he struggled but people just seem to be having a hard time with the front walls to say about this one they made sure that Galactic Legends don't have problems against Qui-Gon alright now last leg of it is ships so I just noticed this actually he has Boba Fett in the starting lineup I don't know if that's some kind of I've never seen this lineup I don't know if that's some kind of anti-scythe lineup but I'm not as scared of it um of course, the mass assist could be could be pretty heavy if I don't get the kill right away. Just get some assists. Come on, there we go. I got some assists, and I could do the AOE to get some extra buffs, but I wanted to make sure that I had it in the bag. 
I'm going to call Falcon and cleanse them off. Sure, we healed up. Just got a lonely IG. Can I kill them before reinforcements? No, got a reinforcement. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know if that's a good lineup. I don't, I don't know if that's really that clever. Grant the bonus turn to him. Spell. We're gonna have to wait till ultimate to kill this guy. That doesn't take too long. Or didn't in this case. It's a lot of cysts. Okay, cool. 75. Negotiator, Executor, Bounty Highs, you, 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 you. Okay. I'm a little surprised that this match was easier than I was expecting. Uh, maybe this guy also had a win streak and then just got up to this this uh, rank I don't know gosh let's take him out <laughs> I knew I was doing that I stun Ahsoka. I still hate facing this fleet. Even after Anakin's gone, it's still just annoying going through everything. Should I save the heal? I don't know. I protected Cad Bane from. Dang it. Oh, it was Mark. That's why I can't avoid it. You can ignore taunts on them, but not Mark's. Even though he can ignore both. Okay, that's two. And last one. This one might be a little tricky. The mirror match is actually a little dicey. I'll bring in this. Sith Bomber, maybe. Banners aren't the crucial thing here. It's just winning. So we got my extra tank. Hey, that actually paid off. He didn't uh, get to use his... Wait, he started Spy? What the heck? Uh, he didn't get to use his AoE thing. I'll get there, Spy... So... Whatever. Now they got it. 
we have buzzes? No, but maybe kill the spy. Dodge both. Uh, we'll just get some good damage a little bit. I may have ruined myself in my experimental opening of stunning Hyena Bomber, but I don't know. It's not gonna do much. But he ruined his with the, uh, his experimental spies starting lineup. It's the basic. This guy is the original one, so he needs to go down. Or no, he's not the original one. Okay. It's quite a messy battle. Uh, I want you to attack with full power. Yeah. Okay. 63, not good, but I already won. It's 2047, so he did drop quite a bit of manners. Um, still, he got a drop on me, or uh, he got a hold against Malgus doing an experiment. So generally, Luke, not a great idea, even when he doesn't have great sides. Um, or nerf probably would be because he could ignore de defense uh this was a good match you know i was pretty tired this morning so i'm glad it wasn't too stressful on me but uh, anyway let me know what you think thanks for watching and see you next time